Hi there, this is Crystal Collins, and I'm going to show you how to use the Buffer app to help you with your social media. I just started using this app, and it has actually changed my life. It's saving me a lot of time, and it's helping me to schedule my social media prom promotions, things that are coming up, without, without using a lot of time to do so. So here's a quick rundown of how to do it. This is the Buffer app. This is under my buffer when I'm logged in in the dashboard. And here is where I can update different things to different social media accounts. For $10 a month, I can post to five different accounts. Um, I can type something here, and I can post it to the account that I want it to go to, or I can add it to Buffer and it will schedule it according to times I've set up under settings here. I'll show you that in just a second. Or I can also just press the Inspire Me button. So I press the Inspire Me button, and it comes up with a cool quote, and I can either use that to inspire myself to write something around that or I could just post that um, whatever I want to do so that's kind of a neat feature that Buffer offers so but I want to actually um, post something to the Savvy Blogging Facebook page from the Savvy Blogging website so this is a post that was written um, back in June but I want to promote it again just to kinda of get some new traffic to it and it's it's great for helping people learn about affiliate marketing and it's that always has value so I'm gonna share it again and what I can do is I can either copy the link and go paste it in a buffer and take those extra steps to try to share it or I actually have an add-on for Chrome here and you can add this to your different browsers where I click the buffer button while I'm on this page and it will set it up to post. Now I don't want it to go to all of my pages that I've set up. See I've got my the Thrifty Mama stuff. That's not what this is for. This is for savvy blogging. So I'm going to deselect that. I don't want it to go to my page or my Twitter and I'm gonna um, type something up like say um, this post on earning online through affiliate marketing and I'm going to add it to buffer okay so it's been added to buffer I could have hit post now but I wanted to add it to buffer so you could see where it goes so now I'm back in the buffer dashboard and you can see here there is the post scheduled for 6.07 p.m. and it, it is there because of that is the time that I have set up in my settings and you can see that it went it already went out to savvy blogging I guess because it was a, a right time got lucky there so that's what you can do with buffer and I just love that button feature because it's just really easy to add things into my queue like for my Crystal E. Collins Twitter account I have a couple things set up to go out so and it, it just it does it based on my settings. So here's the settings menu. I keep talking about this. I might as well show you, right? So here I have um, the different accounts, and I can set up the times that I want different topics, different things to go up. So when I add things to the buffer, it's going to set it up to go out to the time according that is set up here. So if I set up something, like say I set something up at um, 8:30. The next time it's going to schedule here for a savvy blogging account would be 10:39 because that's the time that I set up. Unless I set said buffer to send it immediately, so that's kind of the cool feature is you can have it post now or you can have it go into your different times that you've set up. So you can see I have different times set up for each account. I have um, limited amount of things that I post to like four times for Chris Lee Collins on Twitter and then two times for the savvy blogging Facebook page. So because I don't post as much there. So that's the setting menu, and you can actually add another user to your team members. See, I have Jen here. Uh, she's my assistant for the thriftymama.com, and she um, is able to use Buffer because I've added her here. And for the ten dollars a month, you can add a team member to one extra team member to each account. So that's kind of a neat feature because if you've got assistants or if you have a partner on a on a certain page and you guys work together. So that's kind of Buffer in a nutshell. Ten dollars a month, absolutely worth it. Um, in order to manage your time and manage your social media. You can only use it right now with Twitter and Facebook, but hopefully they're going to be start adding things like Google Plus and other social media networks.